Welcome back to Fun the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with a first look video. Yes, I know I'm a couple days behind, uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But 2023-24 SB Authentic Hockey Hobby. Yes, that is one Mr. Connor Bedard on the front of it, along with Adam Fantilli. Uh, also looking for guys like Logan Cooley, Matthew Nyes, Leo Carlson, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for some bigger end guys. But really... It's that guy in the white jersey uh, that plays for Chicago that is one you're really looking for that makes this box worth what it's worth. And not really worth, but what it's being charged for. Uh, this box, in a lot of places, I did not pay these prices, but are like $550, $600 Canadian plus tax. So in a place where I live, like New Brunswick, and it's 15% tax, yeah, you do that math real quick. Uh, a $600 box is like $690 per Crazy. Uh, once again, I did not pay that. I paid uh, still a lot of money for these, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I got two of them uh, at 480 Canadian. Essentially, me and a couple other guys bought an inner uh, from somewhere where we were able, able to get them for 480 uh, box. So three of the boxes have been opened. They were not good. I will put a picture here uh, what one of the guys pulled, Simon. Uh, that's what he pulled for his box. Uh, so I'm hoping he just had the really bad three another three are with another buddy of mine um and uh, i'm gonna have two also so big thing with sp authentic it is one of the biggest releases of the year because it has one of the biggest cards uh for collectability and for the hockey yard hobby which is the future watch auto which once again you can see right there i'll put it up um so that's what Connor bedard's future watch auto goes for uh and what it is so once again it's, it's a big card and it's once again this sp authentic out of 999 is one of the big ones uh they did introduce a couple years ago the retros which we don't know how they do those they kind of backdate the designs from 10 years ago and 20 years ago so for 2023 24 do 2013 2014 which is like nathan mckinnon year and also do 2003 and 2004 uh, is the other one. So a couple different designs they also add in this. Uh, but Dart actually doesn't have an 0304 design. He only has the 2013-2014 in the retro. Um, but that's the big chase in this. Unlike some products, like I like Platinum. I think a lot of people know this. The reason why I like Platinum is because even if you don't hit a great auto out of it, um, even your lower name guys, if you hit a low number parallel of that auto, could still sell for pretty good. Uh, but you also do have the chance at low number parallels for even veteran players or other rookies, do non autos, um, where this it really it all comes down to your auto. So, gotta turn the camera around and get into it. So again, there he is, Con Bedard, Adam Fantilli. It's crazy. Still, even at this price, not feeling good. Uh, I paid, I don't know if I already said this, but yeah, we paid 480 a box. Um, like I said, I'm still more in the camp of liking Platinum over SP Authentic. Just because it is so hard. It's I think it's a 100 uh, card checklist for the Future Watch Autos. You're not guaranteed a true Future Watch Auto in every box now. Um, so a lot of you know hard times uh, to kind of pull one Mr. Con Bedard. I watched a uh, friend of the channel... Breezy the Breaker. Uh, he pulled three Bedards, one true, and then two retros uh, in his first couple of cases uh, on release day. And I don't think he's pulled another one since. And he's opened so many cases since. He's literally done three whole bounties um, for the Spectrum, which is another chase here. The Spectrum FX cards. I believe this is going to be your auto. Um, I'm just going to put them over there. Um, I'll open it up. If I see it's the auto, I will... I will be that toxic person it opens real nice though but here's the look at the design i said i essentially i didn't open this up because it wasn't super local uh for us so where i got it from where we got these from uh some of the guys picked them up on the weekends i had a busy sunday wasn't able to open it so i'm opening it uh, monday afternoon so again here we go L hoping for a future watch auto uh like i said the big thing here was like i said one of the guys might have taken a Taking, taking the brunt end of this. So we got Nathan McKinnon. So this is a look. I'm not a big fan of the design this year. I really liked last year's design. 2022, 23. I know some people didn't like it. I thought it looked like a really good design. Some people like this one more. Um, Trevor Zegras. Do you have a true? Oh, it's the right color too. Okay. So that's one thing I will mention here. 
put that there. Top left seems to be a place where the auto is. I think I've heard that from a couple places. So do not buy these loose packs. Now some hobby places are good. Like my local hobby shop is good for, uh, they when they take open a box, they mix up the packs right away from a, from a box. So it's not always, if there is some kind of like trick or where an auto usually is or whatever a hit is, they kind of mix them up. So just keep that in mind. But um, if you are buying loose packs, be very careful. Um, I just wouldn't, if it's me. Uh, Jake Gensel. And this is one of the inserts. So collaborations, there's collaborations. There's Evolved, I think is what another one is. There's Pageantry. These are red future watches, uh, which once again, most of the stuff doesn't really go for anything. If you hit a Bedard, yes, maybe it'll be worth uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, but other than that, typically not a whole lot of value. Uh, Bo Horvat in the red limited. And then a bunch more base. So uh, a couple of guys. There we go. Matt Boldy and Kaprizov. Kaprizov leading the league. Matt Boldy, the guy that I'm really high on. So uh, see what happens here. Like I said, we got a true. So we <laughs> just for getting a true, we've already beat out uh, my buddy there. So he may have you know, fallen on the sword as they kind of say. So uh Freshman focus of Tyler Clevin. We got Jared McCann and Dustin Wolf. So there we go, Dustin Wolf. Didn't see a blocker, didn't see a stick. I don't know if they're the same. I think they might be different pictures though from their true uh, to what these are. I think they might be different. So once again, most of this stuff, unlike some sets like Platinum, like I said most of those inserts are not gonna go for anything. Even a case hit, which is hollow foil, which I think they should just retire for SP Authentic because nobody cares that they're a case hit. Uh, if nobody cares that it's a case hit, let's not make it a case hit for three or four years in a row. Uh, when those cards are selling for $5 a piece at a case hit, let's just switch to a different kind of case hit. That Obviously, that hollow foil has that stigma around it that it's not worth anything as a case hit. Let's try to switch that up for something else, right? Let's try to give us a different option. Uh, Mason McTavish, my guy. Um have a lot of Mace McTavish scored his first goal last night with like three seconds left in the game. But uh, Kirby Doc, Cole Perfetti, and we got a retro. So we got at least two autos, maybe a third. Philip Grubauer and then Miko Rantanen. Uh, going to the expo, I guess I should say that. Uh, going to the expo, going to the expo, gonna be there from Thursday till Sunday. All four days, hopefully see some of you guys out. Um, looking to do some deals with people, pick up some stuff. And that is one guy I want to pick up some of is just more of my guys. Obviously, there's the players I like to pick up and buy, like Matt Boldy and Mason McTavish, some guys like that, uh, that I'm, I'm still looking to pick up and to kind of hold or do whatever with. Um, Dr. Foley, this is that Evolve card. So kind of where he started and kind of different spots he's been at since. I think he's he's somewhere else now, isn't he? He's not on the flame still. But and icons, Ridley Grieg and Kale McCarr. So like I said, we'll be at the expo. Pretty excited for it. Second year going. Uh, probably gonna release a video uh, on Wednesday, maybe about just the expo in general, things to think about if you are going for the first time. Now, obviously, I'm not a super big expert. I've been to enough card shows, um, but the expo is obviously its whole other animal. So if you are planning on going, I probably I'm going to release a video kind of just talking about uh, things to think about, things to do, uh, all that stuff. So uh, some pretty good events going on at the same time. Um, but here we go. Josh Norris. Another Evolve. These aren't bad. I think these came from SP Legends, but um, just once again, shows where it's been. I just, just something small here. Why wouldn't you pick a player that's played for three different teams? There's enough good players that have played for three different teams. Why wouldn't you do that? Right? Do a Patty Kane. Chicago, New York, Detroit. Boom. Brent Burns, Minnesota. San Jose, Carolina. Why well, just pick guys that have been on the same team for oh, just a, it's just a little thing, but I just you know could have been done. Uh, Peter Forsberg pageantry. There we go. Fit there right between the two of them. We got 
By the way, Matty Duchesne in the middle. Uh, black Future Watch Autos are something you are looking for chasing. Uh, those are usually like 8 to 12 per like, in the entire thing. They don't actually have numbering. Uh, and then Robbie Gerventi behind them. So um, that is another chase. Like I said, there's different chases in this, but really it's some kind of variation of a future watch. So um, that's you really like once again. The, the chase you're going to have in this is is your future watch chases. Uh, David Yerchek, Connor McDavid, Patrick Line. Our spectrum is Wyatt. So we go. Uh, these, if you have these, take whatever offer you get. If you have one up, take your offer because once the bounty is filled, these are worth nothing. Okay. So if you have a young rookie, if you have a good player, if someone sends you a half decent offer, take the thing. Because once they're filled, nobody cares anymore. So this year is a little bit slower probably because of the price of the product. But once again, uh, collaborations blue. So a little bit shorter print, I think. I don't know if these are numbered. Nope, not numbered. So just a little bit shorter print for the blue. And then Ivan. Ivan. Not Ivan Ivan, not to be confused with Ivan Ivan, who plays for Colorado Avalanche and used to play for the Cape Breton, uh, formerly Screaming Eagles, now just Eagles. Uh, but just this is, I'm not going to try to get his name right. One day I will, but anyways, Wyatt, there it is. Somebody needs a Wyatt, send me a message. Uh, rookies are obviously the big one. Con Bedard ones of those are selling for like big, big money because you do have the chance that, you know, essentially if you do the entire thing, uh, you randomly get a bunch of, you know, redemption cards for them, a full set, if they do it. Uh, and then there are somebody, somebody's gonna get a one of one of like Connor Bernard. Somebody's gonna get the one of one of Logan Cooley, all these guys. So, um, seen some of the guys pulled, none of the, I don't think Bedard's been pulled yet. I think he's still kind of in the wings hiding, but uh, Markstrom, William DeFore, Matthew Coronado and Jonathan Marshall. So once again, typically not the most exciting product to rip um, because it's only, once again, 10 packs, nine cards per pack. And, you know, really most of these packs aren't going to be worth a whole lot. Uh, Braden Point, Matias Michelli, Gennady Kuznetsov. You hit a three auto box. William Dufour. So pageantry auto. That is on card. Askarov in the freshman focus and Mort Sider. Uh, Lucas Raymond has updates in here. I don't know if Sider does or not. Can't remember, but uh, there we go. First hit, William Dufour in the pageantry auto. So not numbered. Uh, they have a little bit of coloring, I think, to go with the team. Um, is on card, which is good. It's one of the good things about SP Authentic is it's on card autos. Um, so it's not, um, you know, sticker autos, which the hobby just does not like. It's why I've always had a hard time understanding why, you know, the big price tag for things like Black Diamond. Um, I would pay, I pay this 500 bucks for this box over a Black Diamond box every day of the week. And then some, uh, I just don't think Black Diamond's worth really a whole, whole lot. Personally, that's just me. That's a guy that's never understood it because the hobby doesn't like sticker autos and Black Diamond's all sticker autos. So, so we'll do William Dufour. I'm trying not to reveal this card. I'm having a hard time here. We're just going to bump this all over a little bit. Boom. I did a whole lot of work for William Dufour there. Not going to lie to you guys. So we got a true. We got a retro. We got a pageantry auto. So this one here, we got a Tyler Clevin. And the freshman focus in the blue, just a little bit shorter print. Matthew Coronado and Vincent DeHarnay now over on the Canucks with JT Miller. So Brock Besser and Stammer. It's going to be weird seeing Stammer in another jersey, uh, seeing him you know, on a card with being a, a Nashville Predator. So first card, it's going to be our retro. I thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'll be at the Expo, have a bunch of plans, have some videos planned for it. Going to be doing content at this place too. Um, so the plan is to do some content, do some card show vlogs, day one, day two, day three, day four. Uh, last year I released them all um, the day after essentially. Like it was, I was trying to be super quick on them. Probably not this year. 
girlfriend's coming with me. Uh, so I have a bunch of events I'm planning on going to also, but last year I stayed up a couple extra hours and put some videos together and stuff. Probably not going to do that this year. Maybe, who knows? We'll see. But first off, first future watch, Matthew Coronado. I feel like this is going to be Matthew Coronado somewhere because I've hit 3,000 of them. Uh, the autograph, that is not Matthew Coronado, but it is his teammate, Connor Zary. So there we go. Not a bad one. Decent looking auto. Look at that. Nathan McKinnon's auto is so big. It's usually like into here. He like couldn't figure out how to do his auto, like shrink it by like 10%. So it just landed here. So all the Nathan McKinnon ones are like into here as he does it. So, uh, but there we go. Connor Zary is our first one. Not a terrible name. Um, you know, he's a big player guy that if you listen to like when they have him on the broadcast or anyone's talking about it, man, they talk highly of Connor Zary. Like, really have a whole lot to say about that guy uh, in a good way. So uh, they really think he's the future there. think he's going to be like the guy to take them to the next level and one of the main building blocks there. So um, once again, a lot of people, myself included, I don't mind when this, when this is a scenario, okay? And I will say that until I'm blue in the face. This scenario here where I have Connor Zary, okay? William DeFore, great. And I have a true. If I have a true future watch, I'm okay I'm okay with getting a retro, okay? I'm okay with that. My problem is, is when I've opened boxes in the past couple years and my true isn't, I don't get a true future watch auto. Then I feel a little gypped. Once again, guy that I got this case with, this inner, he opened it up. He got no true future watches out of 999. That just shouldn't happen. I don't. So anyways, here we go. Uh, go from the back. Uh, get some plans. Boom. Kessel ring. That's enough. I don't need to see you again. Um, once again, if you guys haven't yet hit like, hit the subscribe, follow me on Instagram, eBay store down below, partner channel, uh, links down below with like card ladder pro slab sharks, all that stuff down below. If you want to click all that, um, some big stuff coming forward with it. Like I said, really excited for the expo. So if you guys are going to the expo, come say hi, come talk to me. Like I said, I want to meet everybody I can. Uh, like I said, we're going to be trying to do some kind of content, trying to figure out how we're going to be doing that, but big plans going forward. So, um, from the back collaborations and I should have looked, I'm going to do this. How is the names on this future watch auto? I'm just seeing if I can do this really quick. Future watch auto at a. 999. I'm doing this real quick. I just want to see if there's a way to like reveal just the team. So there is a team at the bottom. Okay. I'm just making sure. So it's kind of some kind of ready orange. Oh. I saw the name. It's White Kaiser. I didn't see the name, but I thought I was actually hoping that was Kevin Krasinski. God, ladies and gentlemen, I just almost had a heart attack. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I I I almost just had a heart attack. I read the Chicago Blackhawks. Oh my land. Oh my. Yeah. Anyways, I I yeah, that was almost a, a true heart attack right there, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, how did I just beat these odds? How did this happen? Um, it was the right color. I was, I was right. It was the right color. Um, it's just white Kaiser. Couldn't even be Kevin Krasinski. Couldn't no, no Kevin Krasinski. It had to be white Kaiser. Um, anyways, that's the risky run here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, it's a, unless you hit one of the big two or three, your box isn't paid for. And then even some of those prices are going to drop pretty heavily. Um, pretty quickly. Like, you know, your Logan Cooley's, your Fantilli's, um, your Leo Carlson's, all that stuff's going to go down in price. So it's like, if you buy a box for 600, can you even make your money back? Even at 480, like I, I took a bath on this. That's 
uh, 1000% thing with this. Uh, I'm a degen and so are my friends. So we opened up, you know, we decided to go in on this case because it's really the cheapest way. This is 150 to $200 cheaper per box um, because of where we got it from compared to most places online. So when you get it for 150 to 200 bucks a box, is it still a good deal at that 480? No, <laughs> but is it a better deal than your other options when that's what you're gonna be opening? Um, yeah, so once again, I don't mind that the design's a little better in person. Uh, it, it really, even from the camera, does not show as good as what it is. Um, it's kind of got these lines here, kind of get some bubble stuff going on. It's, it's fine. Um, I just, I, I liked last year. Big thing apparently all people have issues with is this top corner where it's like some foil and stuff. This one looks actually pretty good. Yeah, and even this one, like, I guess this, this is probably gonna be your background. So a lot of times it's gonna be a darker color. So like this top corner, right? But at least this corner is a, a white. Uh, this corner is more white already from factory. This corner is white. Yeah. So, um, worst box in the world. No true future watch auto retro future watch auto of a good name. And then a pattern show auto of a guy that nobody really cares about, but that is the thing. That is the thing with, uh, SP authentic. Uh, you are chasing your, your autos. You're chasing the auto 1000%. Uh, this is where all the value is. This other stack does not matter. 50 cents, maybe 25 cents for most of this. Okay. Just once again, keep that in mind. Um, if you're okay with that, if you're just chasing the autos, fine. I understand. I know what the comments are going to be already because my comments are usually the same. Uh, that is way too much for that product. I don't want to rip it. I understand. I'm not debating any of that. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. It's a lot of money for a chase, um, for a hope at a Conor Bedard, uh, future watch auto, which is a very, very tough pull, um, that you're probably not going to pull. Um, that is just one of those things. So, um, let's give you guys an idea of, of what to expect out of this. Uh, the other box over there, I'm probably going to open it. Not a good idea. I should just sell that box. 1000% should just sell that box, make a hundred bucks, call it a day. Should do it. But what if it has Bedard in it? Um, anyways, this is how they get you. This is how they get you. Really, only one true out of out of four boxes out of the dinner. Three boxes are in somebody's closet, uh, the other guy's closet. So I don't know when he plans on opening if he does. But uh, I took, I'm the next one to take the risk. Uh, but if I don't get anything great in this, he's really going to be on the hook for opening up his three boxes. So... Uh, once again, hope you guys uh, are going to be at the expo. If you are, let me know in the comments. Uh, send me a message on Instagram if you guys want to meet up at all. Uh, I plan on, like I said, going to a couple of events. Plan on being there pretty much all day for most of the days, walking around, trying to be involved as possible. Um, so hopefully meet up with some of you guys. And for Eric from the bench, talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.